Hello, this is just a quick introduction to science at Beckford Oak Bank. Some of the slides I'll have little audio tapes on for me to explain what they mean. Hope it's useful. Thanks. So this year is the first year that we've run a three year key stage three rather than two. And what we're planning to do is get the students absolutely ready, not only for their GCSE, but for their future lives. And so within our curriculum, we offer all aspects of science, some to sort of um, encourage them perhaps into space and thinking about the universe. Um, we do chemistry with them and practicals and all of the time we're focusing on careers. But as a lot of staff at school, science staff have worked in industry, we don't just want them to come out with GCSEs, we also want them to come out with ideas about what jobs they could go into and also be more aware of the world around them. So we have a focus also on United Nations goals and we get them to do projects throughout the years that they're with us for those three years and they do presentations or different ways of, of explaining what they've learned so that they're not only becoming future ready learners, they're also becoming confident communicators. So this slide then links into the last one and this sort of takes you through what they'll do in year seven, year eight and year nine and how that then links to the topics that we have to cover in year 10 and 11. Um, and, and you can see that there's sort of this interleaving, there's this gradual progression as they go through the years, all culminating in what they're gonna learn then for their GCSEs. And, how, and you can see there how it all links. And again, there's, there's a focus on careers and there's a focus on literacy at all stages in science. So we do an AQA course. It's just a two year course. So it's just a combined science trilogy exam, which means they come out at the end with two GCSE grades. They will be taught biology, chemistry and physics. Um, on rotation really and they'll have quite a lot of exams, six exams in the summer of their year 11 and and basically what they'll do is that at the end they'll end up with two grades, they can be different grades but they won't get a separate grade for biology, separate grade for chemistry and separate grade for physics, it'll just be called a science. The format of the exams is on the next slide. So when they sit the exams, they sit six of them in the summer and each one is an hour and 15 minutes long. It's based on roughly half of the course. So they have biology paper one is on about half of the biology content. And there are multiple choice questions, long style questions, short style questions. Um, and then there's just the differences. You've got foundation and higher tier papers, but we don't make the decision or the final decision of whether your son or daughter will be taking higher tier until sort of the January of, of year 11. So there's lots of time for them to to grow into the course and to improve. Um, okay, and they get a lot of practice with, with doing it. So by the time they're ready, you know, they're doing the GCSEs, they're fully familiar with the types of questions they get asked. So we take students when we can to events outside normal school time. So they get an experience of different aspects of science and, and science in the real world. This was an operating live event that was run by um, medics. And they're trying to encourage people to go into the medical service or the national health service but not to be a doctor and not to be a nurse to do one of the hundreds of other things you can be in the nhs where there are lots of jobs at the moment we normally do trips to other areas as well it's been curtailed this year but we're hoping to start um, it again soon so we take them to places like the national media museum that's got a science section and the big bang fair in birmingham the science fair that runs in national science week among lots of other things So the science team, it's huge because we've got lots of members of the senior leadership team are scientists who are ex-heads of science. 
We've got a lot of staff who were older like me, who were ex-heads of science, so a wealth of experienced staff. And then we've got the young, keen, enthusiastic NQTs, newly qualified teachers, recently qualified teachers, um, and some in midway in the career. So we've got a wealth of, of experience and a wealth of um, enthusiasm and new technology sort of experts. So we're really lucky in that, that aspect. But some teachers that have got young families that are part time. Quite a few of us, me included, have worked in industry. And so we're very keen to make that quite um, a large part of our teaching and our focus is to, to get students to be thinking about their jobs and what they're going to do post 16, so post the end of year 11. Um, we also have a brilliant science technicians section and most of not all of the staff in there are really highly trained and they help with running after school clubs. Um, so it, it's, a, it's a department that's it's got lots to offer and lots to offer in terms of help for students when they're going through their, their GCSE science. So I'm hoping that this short PowerPoint has covered any points that you might wanted to raise or questions that you had. If, if there is anything else that you want to know or I haven't covered it in quite enough detail, then it is not a problem at all to just get in touch in any way, you know, phone the school and get them to ring, get them to tell me to ring you back, or you can email me, or you can um, just send a message via the Teams or the class charts, um, anything at all would be fine, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope it's been useful. Thank you. Bye.